What is happening? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nazlik Darshia back with another video. So today Evergrande, the largest real estate company in China, which mind you is the second largest economy in the entire world, has owes over $300 billion in debt and is on the hook for as many as 1.6 million apartments. It may owe tens of thousands of its employees money too. So Evergrande gave workers a choice, loan us cash or lose your bonus. So before we begin, I wanna say I'm not a financial advisor and you should always do your own due diligence and research before taking part in any investment scheme. All right, let's continue on. This is wild guys, like, Employees who say the company pressured them into giving them money or loaning them money, they've joined these angry homeowners demanding their money back, like outside, they're just protesting. Some of them are homeowners, some of them are bankers, some of them are supply people, like people who give furniture and materials and construction companies, just all out there. And it is insane. Okay, it turns to its own employees with a strong arm pitch. Some workers tap their friends, family for money, others borrowed from the bank, and then Evergrande like stops paying back loans, which had been suspiciously packaged as high interest investments. Now they're just, they are just protesting outside. The shares also have lost more than 80% of their volume. It is a mess, 80%, literally 80%. It is, it is a mess. But why is it about to collapse? Because 1.5 million people have put deposits on new homes that have yet to be built. And this is going to collapse very soon because of the amount of debt. But investors are growing, growing increasingly worried because China is the second largest economy, and this is a, this was the largest retail, not retail, the largest real estate company, and this could have an effect on many, many other companies on a smaller scale and as, as a whole China's economy, because if Evergrande owed, it, owed money to so many construction companies, those are construction companies and all those companies make up China's economy. So as a whole, China's economy is impacted. Okay. China also let, the Chinese government also let Evergrande reset debt terms. So China Evergrande Group is said to have received a green light from Beijing to reset some of the terms of its debts buying the embattled developer a little more time to offload and find cash. Bloomberg's Rebecca Chun Wilkins reports on Bloomberg Markets China Open. Okay, but how did we get here? How did we get here? So a banking figure, a banking failure triggered by the collapse of major property developers was the single most likely scenario that could lead to a hard landing in China. And who will be affected by this also? So number one is banks. Number two, home buyers and investors. Number three, suppliers. I already talked about that. And Evergrande, I feel like Everglade, not, not Everglade, Evergrande is really not too big to fail. No company is too big to fail, literally. China Everglade Group, Evergrande Group, with more than 300 billion in total liabilities, equivalent to 2% of China's GDP. It's in the throes of a liquidity price, a liquidity process. It is crazy. And they owe one worker named Wu $78,000 with another 2 million yuan due in March. Evergrande says that it's working hard to repay investors and it's in talks with bank over rollover loans, but suspiciously enough, they have not mentioned smaller suppliers, contractors, 
and expectations are so high that its assets will have to be restructured. So this this is like like crazy crazy videos. Ready? I have a brand that returned my money earned with blood and sweat. Look at that. Everybody is waiting to beat up. Everybody. <laughs> People fainting. This is insane. Here's another clip. This is madness. The cash strapped group Look which has about three hundred and five billion dollars in liabilities said oh on God. Tuesday it's engaged advisors to examine its options. It warned of default risks amid plunging property sales. Regulators and financial markets are worried that any crisis could ripple through China's banking system and potentially trigger wider social unrest. In the latest development, Evergrande's yeah, then there are people fainting. percent to a seven-year oh low God. in Hong Kong on Tuesday, and the Shanghai Bourse halted trading of its listed bonds. Okay, so for the end, to sum up, here are the sum like the summary points. So, how much debt exactly does Evergrande have? More than three hundred billion in unpaid bills. The home buyers, suppliers, foreign investors, and lenders. So in short, Evergrande has become the country's most indebted company. And why is Evergrande in trouble? Evergrande has stepped up acquisitions in recent years, taking advantage of real estate frenzy. But it's just, it's done. So how big exactly is Evergrande though? Evergrande was once the biggest, fine, biggest real estate firm in China. It was the largest. And who owns Guangzhou Evergrande? Xu Jiayin. He was the once the country's richest man, but is now was now the tenth richest man. So, in conclusion, this is really bad, like really bad. And I feel that this will affect China's economy on a large scale. And hopefully, though, it won't affect the world's economy. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment Powder Puff if you made it till the end so I know. Thank you and see you on the moon. Bye-bye.